Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these waterproof labels at home from start to finish, only using Canva and my Cricut. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I created the labels I use in my own laundry room, including the text and exact measurements. Even if you don't have a Cricut, you can do this. It just allows for more perfect rectangles and squares if you do have a rectangle if you do have a Cricut. And if you wanna watch the full laundry room makeover, the video link will be at the end of this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first I open up Canva. In the top right corner, I'm gonna choose create a new design. Then I choose custom size. Then instead of it being in pixels, I'm going to use this drop down to select inches. In the width area, I'm going to put 2.75. And in the height area, I'm gonna put 4.75. Then I click create new design. All right, so here's the shape I'm gonna be working with. Now I'm gonna go over to elements, then go to lines and shapes, see all. Then I'm just going to choose this square outline for my label. First, I'm gonna switch the color over to black. Then I'm just gonna use Canva's built-in guidelines to make the outline a more of a rectangle shape. Um, but I am gonna leave a little white space all around the edges. I know the size is even all around because the measurements read 2.5 by 4.5 in the end. So now I'm gonna go over and select this text, add a heading. Um, then I'm gonna just write laundry detergent in all caps. Then I'm just gonna move it up towards like the top kind of towards the top slash center of the box. Um, then I'm gonna switch the font to Bodoni FLF. And then I'm just going to increase the size to 28 inches. And now I'm going to add a subheading in the font called Jonathan. I'm just going to put laundry essentials in all lowercase in size 30. Next, I'm adding a little bit of body text. I'm arranging it closer to the top of the label. I like to make my labels minimal, but with some fun elements. So I'm going to add number one at the top. And if you're doing this, you can choose whichever number you wanna go with. Then I'm switching my font to Beleza in size 10. Then I'm gonna go over to spacing and change the letter spacing to size 333, leaving the line spacing at 1.4. And then I'm just going to copy this number, drag it down towards the bottom of the label and change the text to highest quality. Again, I just like to add these little elements to make the labels more fun and professional as if I bought them from the store. Okay, so last, I'm just going to go back over to elements. I was already in lines and shapes, so I'm just going to click the first line here in the top left corner. Then I'm just going to arrange it right here in the center between number one and laundry detergent. Then I'm going to select this box to adjust the line weight, selecting two so that it can look nice and thin. Then I'm just going to copy, paste, and add another one towards the bottom right above highest quality. So after looking at it, it looks like the laundry detergent and laundry essentials text can come down just a smidge in the center. So that looks good. And then now I'm just going to hit the share button then download um, using a, PA, a PNG file. So now I'm in Cricut Design Space and I'm going to hit upload. Here I'm going to upload the image. So I'm gonna select browse. This is from my download, so I'm just gonna upload my laundry detergent label and hit upload again, and then select complex. Then continue. I don't need to cut or remove any background or anything, so I'm just going to select apply and continue. Then I'm going to select the print, then cut image, and then upload. So now I can select the image I just uploaded and then add to canvas. When the image goes onto the canvas, it's larger than it's supposed to be, so I'm just going to adjust the size. Here at the top where it says size, I'm going to lock it enter in 2.75 in the width area, and then it automatically adjusts to the right size. Now I'm going to add a shape to the background. This step is important so that it cuts out the entire rectangle when it's sent to the machine to cut. So I'm choosing the square on the bottom left corner. This shape is locked, so I did have to unlock it to create a rectangle shape. So in the top, again, I'm gonna just hit 
the unlock button, then 2.75 in the width area, and then 4.75 in the height, which is basically the same size as my label. And then I'm going to change the color to white. This is important so that when you print it, it does print white. Um, then I'm selecting both elements and aligning center horizontally and then center vertically. Then just move the white layer to the back. Then I'm just going to right click to group the layers together. Now I already have the rest of my labels designed. I pretty much just swap out the text that says laundry detergent to whatever the item is and then follow the same steps to upload. I do recommend you do the same if you plan on recreating these labels because it will save on time and paper when you go to print. So here I'm in the printing area. This is just how the labels are gonna look when I go to print it. So I'm just gonna press continue and then it takes me to the screen. I'm just gonna put send to printer. And here on the screen, I'm just selecting the printer I'm going to be printing to and making sure the bleed is turned off. And then I just press print. So for this, I am using a waterproof sticker paper for this labels. So I am just going to put in sticker and then select printable sticker paper. For the paper, I'm using this matte full sheet adhesive. This is sticker waterproof paper. I have been using this for years and you know, it works really well. I actually got this off of Amazon and I'll be sure to link the description and I'll be sure to link the product in the description box below. And here's the labels coming out of the printer. And this is how the waterproof sheet looks once it was printed. Now I'm just going to stick it to the Cricut mat, trying to line up the edge against the top ruler marking and the side ruler markings that's on the mat. Now I'm just going to feed it into the machine. And just a real quick note, you can use this for any kind of labels in the kitchen, bathroom, anywhere. I just was making this for the laundry room and giving you guys some inspiration. And on this part, the machine reads the registration marks so that it knows exactly where to cut. And you can see here that the machine cuts in smooth, even lines all around. And this is how the labels looked once it was finished cutting. You can see the nice sharp lines all around, that's even all around the labels. And once everything was finished cutting, I just removed the excess paper and also took the stickers from the mat as well. And here's a look at the labels all cut out and some of the other sizes that I created as well. Now I'm just taking the labels and applying it to the outside of the glass bottles. See, and in my other laundry room makeover video, I showed you guys exactly how I filled up my containers to consolidate and make more space in my laundry cabinet. So if you guys are interested, you can check out that video. And if you guys like these labels, you can head over to my website, DIYbynikkifoster.com to download all the three different sizes for free. And as you can see, I use the labels on the clear coat drawers just so I can know where to put everything. I actually think this is like really smart. So when I'm like restocking, it's easy to know which container holds what. And here's like one of my favorite ones. This is the one I showed you guys how to make. It's the same essentially, but just different sizes. But I did the laundry detergent, the scent boosters, vinegar, and then I did a bleach label as well. And here is two of the things I use probably the most, which is the Oxy Clean and the Scent Boosters. Well, not the most, but here's two of the things I use like kind of in every load is the Oxy Clean and the Scent Boosters. Of course, laundry detergent too, but um, I love these on the clear glass containers on top of the laundry counter. Um, and these sizes are, I think this is a four by four size. So that's just, that's it. That's everything for this DIY waterproof label tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comment box below. 
Um, again, these are waterproof labels. They're really helpful. I've been doing this for a very long time using this. I have not seen any other videos like this. So I wanted to give you guys, you know, a tutorial on how you could do some professional looking labels for your home with like nice fonts and text and stuff. So, all right, I guess that's it. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Everybody in the video, give mommy one billion and a thousand subscribers. See you later, alligators.